Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. So I know a lot of you guys like this topic, the unexpected. Today you're going to see my face, so I apologize for those who like seeing only cards. It's good to change things up. Now, before we get into your reading, I want to say I have collaborated with Keen one more time. I've worked with them before and I love how professional they are. Now, those who have no idea what Keen represents or what Keen is at all, Keen is a platform where you can find psychics. You have astrologers, mediums, tarot readers, people who channel. And my experience with Keen um, was pretty awesome. I have vibed with one reader and I connected with them. I think it was around 2 a.m. Uh, at night. I had just finished doing my work and I was like, listen, I wanna try this out. So it's pretty comfortable when it comes to needing a reading right here, right now. There are people available 24 seven. So whenever you need an answer, here you go, you can find someone online. They have an option, would it be chat option or Call. If you don't feel comfortable calling someone, you can always chat. And that's what I used in my case. The person that I got a reading done by, it was super quick. I didn't even expect that someone can channel and type so quickly. So I was pleasantly surprised, I must tell you. Today's promo that I want to offer you in collab with Keen is 10 minutes by 199. In order to use this promo, go trykeen.com slash Brigitta. My name, I know a lot of people uh, call me Aqua, which I love too. And you'll be able to use your 10 minutes for $1.99. There are so many people, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find the one that vibes with you the most. I have advice for you when booking with Keen, uh, read descriptions of people. The way that they have written descriptions, their personalities shine through. And that was the way that I booked my reading. I'm gonna show you a quick clip too, how to start, it's pretty easy guys. Um, all you need to do is to press get started. Um, there's gonna be a quick survey which will help you when looking for a reading. Uh, you'll quickly answer the questions that they ask, put your name, birthday, and you will see all options that you have out there for readers. So I hope that this is helpful. I hope someone finds answers through Keen and let's get back into the video. So guys, these are your options. Pile number one, we have a feather. Pile number two, we have a shell. Pile number three, we have another shell. And pile number four, we have a stone. So take your pick and I'm going to see you in timestamps. Apologize for the background noise. My neighbors are refurbishing their flat. <laughs> Hello pile number one, whoever has chosen a feather, I must tell you, I wanted to do a reading daytime today and I don't think it was a great idea. And you know, I usually do readings evening time. My neighbors are refurbishing their apartment literally next door. So it's a bit like a construction site. And it, they literally started doing it again when I started recording pan number one. So I'm not gonna pay attention to it as much as I can. Uh, try to ignore it yourself because I just cannot do anything about it because I need to put this video out at a certain time. I think I'm gonna try and uh, reduce the background noise as much as I can on iMovie, um, but I'll just keep on rolling, okay? Uh, it's gonna be a fun reading, cheers. <laughs> okay, I'm using the texture tarot for you guys here today. And let's see what's coming up for pile number one what i want to say straight away is that it seems like okay i'm seeing a vision i'm seeing a tree that you've planted um it's been growing for years and you knew that it's almost like reminds me of a christmas tree um you knew that you planted this tree for a reason to cut it for some kind of tradition or for something for yourself I don't know what it's exactly for, but it's showing me that that tree has overgrown your expectations already. But in a sense that you needed to reap your rewards a bit earlier. 
So do not delay. Do not delay a decision. Do not delay a choice. Um, do it now. That's what I'm picking up. Do it now. Your fruits are ready to be collected for a while now. Don't let them rot. This is quite intense, but in the best way possible that you might be overlooking some kind of opportunity or maybe you are not paying attention to it. Maybe your vision is on something else and what you're not seeing, you are given some kind of offer or opportunity or sign that you are missing because what you focused on is something that you have created for yourself and you're like this way only. I'll only go for this or I'll only go for that. It's saying be a bit more open-minded. We are giving you opportunities. We're giving you answers, but it might not be the way that you expect it. I hope this is as clear as it can be for you guys, because I know it can be a bit confusing when it comes to, you know, explaining visions. I hope you, you hear me well because sometimes the mic uh, wants to play games with me like all tech. Okay, witches and witchers, let's see. What is up? What is the unexpected? I'm using the texture tarot. Let's see, I'm gonna let gravity do the work. Wow, right, okay, I'm gonna pull three cards and I'll show it to you. <laughs> That's nice, I like that for you. The unexpected, the unexpected, pile number, whoa, pile number one. This is crazy, this is nuts. This is over and done with, this is 10 of swords, right here, no more BS in my own headspace, not giving myself too much pressure when it comes to my, I'd say, negative thoughts or patterns, something that I used to do no more, um, you ending a chapter. You ending a chapter, but don't feel like this is something that is unexpected, you know about it. Would it be a, some kind of karmic cycle or wrapping up a cycle of your own life, almost like a chapter, this is over and done with, I'm ready for new. Thank you guys, by the way, I'm looking at my phone for following me on Instagram. I posted uh, on my YouTube that I'm more active on Instagram now. I do sometimes daily pick cards and stuff like that on my stories, which I wasn't before. I don't know why I feel more drawn to it now than ever before. And I hope it's helpful. Now, let's look at your cards over here. Yes, this is the Queen of Pentacles. A lot of creativity is coming through here. And I think, you know, uh, there is a reason that I picked the texture tarot for you. You're probably more creatively inclined people here. And every time I choose the deck uh, that is somehow creative in its imagery or I feel that this deck personally speaks to me about creativity, I know that we're gonna have some kind of, you know, arts and crafts uh, pile or we're gonna have people who are artistic. Now, even if you are not, I think that's something that needs to be brought out of you a bit more. Next card, the Knight of Wands. See, he has a brush, a massive brush in his hand and it's almost like it's magical. It's magical. What you need to know, <laughs> finishing with a magician here. This is big. This is big pile number one. What I want you to know is that what you have been working on for a while now, you'll finally be able to see that come into fruition. Um, there was a reason I said witches and witchers because of magician here as well as um, your ability to create almost like something out of nothing. So you're going to start seeing that more clearly. The unexpected is the abundance. The unexpected is the project, maybe the idea that you're taking on. Um, and I think a lot of you have, have started it already. So that might not be the unexpected. 
but what's the unexpected for you, you'll recognize what kind of traits you have in yourself and that, that little idea or maybe initial thought is going to take you places. And um, you know what this reminds me of? Almost like of life path reading here. I'd say whatever the idea you have right now or what you put your hands on, I'm seeing you doing something with your hands for some of you. Um, some of you are learning something about spirituality or I'm hearing rituals. A couple of you have really beautiful altars that you've created for yourself. You are in the midst of great manifestation. Don't let it slip through your fingers and I think none of you will allow this to happen because it's simply already within you. It's around you. All you need to do is to recognize what it is, what this, what this idea project for you and take it further. Believe in it because at first it might seem like a, I don't know why I've created this or I don't know why I wanted to start this or I don't know why I suddenly wanted to put my hands on something, right? And it seems like it's a very familiar story and feeling for me here. Almost like someone starts um, like a hobby or a side job, some kind of an interest and it turns into this business of theirs without them really realizing. Um, this is great. For a lot of you, you're going to recognize how much you have in you. I think there is an ability, ability that you haven't acknowledged in yourself just yet so but it has a lot to do with um, either art keep hearing artistry or magic you have much more magic in you than I think you give yourself credit for and for panel number one you're being asked to take action and to complete it don't be afraid of your own abilities here for some of you yes you may have to have patience when it comes to it see she's very peaceful and she's very patient when it comes to it she's like okay i'm just chilling i'm doing what brings me i'm hearing home or brings me a feeling of peace i don't know where it might take me but i think a lot of you have started seeing the fruit of labor of it already so now this vision that i had of a tree um you were that tree who had all these abilities right in you and i think there was a time when you used where you had to use those traits properties of a tree uh, you're very close to nature i'd say look up herbs uh, properties of trees why being drawn to certain tree why being maybe drawn to certain burning certain tree for example, when I'm talking to you, I'm looking at this. I'm not using Sal uh, Palo Santo. I am uh, trying to kind of cut the usage, usage of Sa uh, Palo Santo due to it being endangered. But it's everyone's choice. This is not pointing fingers. I'm just saying that's what I feel more comfortable with. And also, when I looked up the properties of a pine tree, it really vibed with my soul. So you can look different things up and see what works for you. Uh, pay attention to which herb you want to buy in a shop, even when you're cooking. Because it's already an answer for you. What kind of day you're having, what properties you need, what you could possibly work with, right? So the, this is a very spiritual pile. And it seems like you are discovering more and more answers. You might be interested in herbs much more suddenly than ever before. In trees, in properties of any, anything that comes from earth. Who okay. cares? Some of you might be drawn to reading from crystals and what I mean by that, see this is all about discovery for you, I'm just throw, I'm brainstorming here. Um, it's almost like you are discovering ways how to work your magic, pile number one. I'm seeing one or two of you um, in addition to tarot or instead of tarot if you're reading at all, even if you're not, um, when you think of a person which crystal do you want to pick 
And that crystal, even if you don't know the meaning of that crystal, by looking it up, the properties of that crystal, you already be able to say what this person might possibly need, what, what they might be going through, right? Um, what kind of crystal to suggest for them. So there are already a lot of answers. I think you're, you're discovering ways that you can read and you can tune in, tune in to anything. What food are you choosing to eat today? Why? Looking it, looking it up, right? Do you feel like you want to eat more fish today? Why is that? Your body is requiring something from you. What is missing? Um, so it's almost like I'm seeing a connection between the spiritual realm between the source. But it's, a very nice, it's very aligned. It's very balanced. Up there with you and the earth and beneath. As above, so below. I like you. I like you, file number one. Whoa. I think for a lot of you, um, I'm, a, I'm splitting the stories now. For a lot of you, you will start taking care of your body a little bit more. Because when we pull the Queen of Pentacles, right? These two people have very different bodies and there is nothing wrong with any of them. Just to put it out there, because sometimes people get um, offended by things that I don't mean at all. But um, she looks like she uh, she's working a job that is not maybe requiring any physical strength, which is fine. But then I think there needs to be a bit more balance. Um, this is a note for myself too when it comes to physical activities how often do you actually even stretch you know um in order not to become stagnant physically stagnant and i think what you don't see coming your way pile number one is difference in your body shape you suddenly might be drawn to working out or changing your diet listen to your body your body will tell you when is the best time the same goes, I don't know why I want to talk about this. The same goes for smoking. Uh, the same goes for smoking. You know, sometimes people say, okay, I'm quitting smoking, Qu uh, quit smoking with me. But it doesn't work the same way for everyone. Your timing doesn't mean that your timing is going to work for someone else. They have to be ready and be assertive once they make up their mind because if they just join you I'm not gonna smoke because you're not gonna smoke right now right um, they very often find themselves coming back to smoking because the timing is off and listen to your body when is when is the time why did I want to talk about smoking I'm a smoker my, myself and uh, I know how it might feel like the times when I quit smoking was the time when I felt it's suitable for me, not when someone told me to. And I'm pretty sure 100% it wouldn't have worked. So we again, coming back to listening to your body, you're very earthly people. I like that. You have this mixture, um, good mixture and good balance in you. You've learned how to use the earth and how to make magic out of what other people think is nothing and i think what you're recognizing and what you're gonna be um, seeing much more that you can get anything done magician can make anything happen all he needs to do is to know what kind of tool to use for a certain desire or for a certain goal right Okay, let's see. Pile number one, the unexpected. It feels like I touched on five different people's stories, so please choose what it is that's suitable for you. All right, all right. <gasps> Guys, pile number one. I mean, come on. The six of wands. Right now, what I'd like you to do, now you can take my advice or not, it's completely up to you go and get stuff done there's gonna be a time when you will wake up 
full of motivation, full of energy. It's saying use that time. That time is going to be very powerful for you. You can achieve anything that you want. For you, it's not about unexpected one thing. For you, the unexpected is that you are the unexpected. You're going to recognize how much power you have laying in you and you need to start making it work for your own advantage. You're going to be really visible, I think, in the future. A lot of people want your attention or a lot of people need your services or time because of how far you've come. And this is part of the unexpected. But for some of you, I feel like you have seen it happening already and you're halfway there. This is saying more to come. Keep your eyes open. Use your wisdom, ancient wisdom, and this almost like I want to say tribal magic. Um, I think pile number one, you believe in maybe paganism or you believe in in gods and maybe you believe more so in in then in, in ancient traditions that you may want to bring back and if that's the case i applaud you we need people like that i really really love anything that's old i don't know i'm just a vintage person i guess but especially when it comes to magic we don't need to come up with, you know, this, I don't know, intriguing recipes for magic. Um, and we shall never tell other people how to do their own magic because what's working for you is not going to be working for other person. It's all about intention and it's all about feeling what's right for you to use now and what's right for you to use um, maybe tomorrow. Your energies might shift, therefore you need different tools like magician, right? And one more thing, um, just a disclaimer when talking about magic. I am not that person who believes that it's okay to use magic to influence other people's fates or to change their journey. Just to put it out there. Um, you can use that for your own benefit if you need to, but you can not only influence someone else, not in the best way, but yourself too, by doing that. And uh, I know some people don't agree with that, but this is purely my ethics. Okay, let's see. One more card. One more card. What is the unexpected pile number one? I mean, if I, if I had to sum this up, I'd say huge success. Take it with you and make it happen, you know? Huge success. Either way, I think whatever you're going to choose to do, whichever path you're going to cho choose to walk, and I feel like for pile number one, there are going to be different paths, almost like branches, you know? Wherever you go, you make it happen. Wherever you go, you make it happen. Why are you watching this reading, pile number one? Why are you watching this reading, Ten of Pentacles? Branches, hey, trees, here you go. Reap your rewards. There is, I think, more abundance coming your way than you ever thought it was possible for you. Um, and even if you believe that you're gonna be really well off, I think you're not seeing just yet to what extent. I don't think I had a pile like that for a really, really long time. Um, if you're looking for buying a home, if you're looking for saving money and it's not happening just yet, it's almost like um, you're being prepared for everything that's still yet to come. And it will probably be quite overwhelming. So prepare yourself mentally now. Pay attention to your blockage. If you feel like... Um, don't like that word blockage it's more so like a sabotage self-sabotage that's the word where sometimes people get x amount of money or um, a really great job really well-paid job and they think that that's pretty much it I'm good with that 
But really, what we're doing by thinking that way, we are postponing everything that can come our way, almost like, I'm good, you know, that's all that I deserve. There are no boundaries, there are no walls, you can have more and more and more, as long as you approach it in a good, healthy way. So, I'm not gonna wish you best of luck pile number one because you don't need it i'm just gonna say i'm wishing you a peaceful day chill out relax take care of yourself and i'm gonna catch you in the next one bye for now hello pile number two whoever has chosen this shell right here by the way i have to tell you my neighbors are refurbishing their flat so there are gonna be noises in the background i can't do anything about it unfortunately i have my mic on but I have to shoot this video daytime. So let's get into it. It's gonna be a fun, um, fun reading. <laughs> With everything that's going on in the background. I hope the mic helps though. Okay. The unexpected pile number two. Watch out for orbs, watch out for light flashes that you might not be able to understand what it is. I feel like for some of you, your guides are communicating with you that way, which is interesting. Ancestor, guide, if you believe in angels, it can be an angel too. I think you may have had a dream of some sort or some kind of um, encounter with a spirit within the half past half year uh, that was the most prominent to you and you still maybe can't believe that this was what you think it was and uh, it's almost like a confirmation yep it's a saying yep that's what exactly what you thought it was uh, kind of we came or I came through very strongly so it can be any spirit really it doesn't only have to be a guide the ancestor I believe it can also be uh, um, a deceased spirit. I'm hearing for pile number two, you almost finished. You've almost finished working. Make sure there are no gaps in the roof. No holes in the roof. I don't know what it means to you, but I hope it's making sense. Let's see. The unexpected pile number two. I'm gonna pull. What's up? Uh, in pile number one, we had the magician. We have the magician in your pile two. I need to clarify one card. I'm going to show you cards in a minute. What is going on? Okay. I see. Now, what I want to say for pile number two, um, there will be a time when you'll feel uneasy when it comes to your abilities. We have the Magician and the Four of Swords reversed. The way that I'm picking this up, this is saying, I think it's gonna be one of those times when you're going through um, a lot of spiritual downloads and you might be feeling like nothing is making sense, it's too much, I need to take a chill pill, ground yourself. That's gonna be the time when you really need to ground yourself. Why? Because the queen of pentacles is reversed here. It's saying the unexpected is, it can, this can be a blessing and a curse sometimes. So this usually happens to people who are very sensitive, who see things that other, other people don't, who in between two realms sometimes. The best way to, to come back to the earth, this is saying, is to do what human does, right? In the 3D, being here and now, um, have a good meal for yourself. Uh, detach from tech, that's very helpful. If you can, spend as much time outside as possible um, when the time of downloads will hit you. Um, for some of you, it's also going to be a time of being just not understanding what's happening around you because there is so much that you like, listen, but this is happening for you, not to you. This is saying we have the hanged man here, this transition, but this is all about spiritual transi transition. Pal number two is going to shift your mindset 
in order for you to grow. You're gonna start seeing things from a different perspective. You're gonna be like, listen, whoa, you know, I didn't see that before. Uh, whoa, I came out of this transition a bit of a different person. And that's what's needed here for pile number two. I think that's what is your unexpected. Almost like through, grow through going, um, this phase of uncertainty, I know it sucks, I've been there many times. Um, for some of you, it can be also the void, you know, feeling of a void where nothing is interesting, nothing is making sense. You don't know why you feel empty. You just, you can't, nothing has happened, you know. Um, you just woke up one day and you're feeling like, oh, whoa, you know, this is intense. So it's either too many downloads and being too high up there or feeling the void. Now, when this happens, what you need to know, this is a massive, massive transition, much more intense than just regular transitions that we tend to go through um, every month, even week sometimes. It depends on everyone we are or in different time frames. Uh, collectively, we're going on, going through transitions too, um, due to planets, but here, it seems like it's going to be very personal to you and don't take it as something that is negative. At that time, it might feel like it, but what you don't know what's happening behind the scenes is that you're almost like being activated to see what you haven't seen before. To almost like I'm hearing to claim what is yours. So maybe you had some kind of ability but for you, it's mostly to do with your thoughts, your intelligence. Um, you're going to discover a lot more answers through that transition here. And it seems like there is this feeling of being home, of being mothered by the place by environment that's waiting for you but first it's saying we gotta go through transition and it's not always rainbows and unicorns but it's happening for you for your own good now this is interesting because every time i find myself in that moment something beautiful comes out of it so either i have a great idea how i want to do things Either my intuition shoots through the roof, I can see things that I haven't seen before, I can sense things about people without even knowing them, and it just becomes nice. It becomes intense, but not intense on a level that you go nuts, you know? Transition can feel a bit like that, but after you come out of the other side, it feels more so that you've almost like in a video game. I don't know why <laughs> I'm seeing levels, you know, in the corner of the screen, you're leveling up. So the unexpected is another le level up for you. Let's continue. Don't rush. Don't put pressure on yourself. Once you're going through that, don't ask yourself why and don't blame yourself because sometimes you don't need answers. Sometimes you just need to be. Just be, just be at that time. Uh, for pile number two, color green might be uh, helpful. Maybe you'll suddenly be drawn to buying something that um, is of color green, deep green almost like emerald green. That's what I'm picking up, forest green, you know? Um, I think that would be helpful for you if you're gonna be going through that transition. The only thing that is permanent is change. Okay, what is the unexpected pile number two? <laughs> nice, and we have green cards coming up here for you. Um, it seems like now, don't rush. There is a new opportunity, a new solid opportunity and beginning that is happening here, but it seems like the time is not yet. Um, if you are feeling that you want to do something, but you feel like, mm, this is a great idea, but intuitively, I'm like, 
I don't know if I should go for it now. I don't know if I should go for it now. Listen to that because it seems like it's there for you to take, but maybe the time is not just yet. There's gonna be a better timing. This is not being taken away from you. The opportunity is not taken away from you. The possibility is there, but universe, God, whatever you believe in, wants you to get it at the best timing for you. Look, see? They're gonna give it to you whenever the timing is best. Now expect pile number two, unexpected rewards. But it does feel like for some of you, not only that this is coming from the source, the universe, God, whatever you believe in, but from people too. If you're looking for investment, if you're looking for to be given handed money or handed something precious to you, you are getting it, but it's saying, don't be afraid if it's not happening right here, right now. It's not taken away from you. We'll still hand it to you, but not just yet. Not just yet. The unexpected pile number three. The unexpected pile number three. Let's see, let's let gravity do the work. Some of you are really into physics. Whoa, okay, listen. Collectively, this reading, we had the six of wands and the magician in pile number one. We have the magician and the six of wands in pile number two too. So guys, almost like People's wishes are coming true, but it's very connected to either a career, job, or a hobby. If you want to be successful when it comes to those things, um, I think this is a time when to focus on it. Keep being persistent, pile number two. Persistence for you is the key. Now, for some others of you, um, you are, if you're wondering about your children or family, but no, specifically children, it's saying you, you're gonna be fine. So I don't know what you're going through, but it wants you to know that you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine, you're gonna be better than fine. You will celebrate achieving something that has to do with family matters or your, ch or your children here. Good times ahead. I really like that for you. Some kind of unexpected celebration and recognition is coming here. Recognition. But not just yet. I keep hearing that. Not just yet. Uh, right now, focus on what you need to focus on now, which is transition and transformation. <laughs> God damn it, right? Um, you, you need to allow yourself to, pro, to flow through this gracefully. Don't push it. Don't push it. Yeah. Um, I think for pile number two, what you're aiming for is independence. Um, cutting away from something or someone here. Uh, this is to be achieved, but don't rush it, I'm hearing. Now for those who need to be, you feel in your soul that you want to do, you want to be entrepreneur, you have a, you want to have your own business this is achievable for you but this is not gonna happen over week I think overall pile number two needs patience because I keep coming back to it have patience it's not about knowing the whole plan it's not about knowing the whole structure it's about taking it a step at a time okay what is the unexpected some of you don't want to listen to me, right? You're like, I don't care. I want it now. I want to see what I want to see. Um, don't leave yourself out in a cold by thinking that way. This is saying. Listen to what it is that your guides or energies around you are telling you. Almost like sometimes you don't trust it. But this reading is asking you to trust it a bit more. You're not alone. You're not on your own. Things are much more complex behind the scenes that you don't see. And uh, even if we have given you a clear answer, uh, without the context, the answer wouldn't make sense and you would still not be happy with the answer. 
you need to see the context before we show you the outcome. And the context is your journey. Approach it gracefully. That's what I have for you, pile number two. I hope it's helpful and I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Hey, pile number three people. So, whoever has chosen this shell right here, by the way, I have to tell you, I do have neighbors refurbishing right next door. So it's gonna be a fun reading. And I needed to film it daytime today due to time constraints. I have to put it out at a certain time. And I need sunlight. Well, it's not really sunny out there now, but daylight, let's put it that way. Let's see which deck I wanna use for you. You seem like a bit of a, you're unique people. I think I want to use the textured tarot. All right, what is the unexpected? What is going on? Pile number three. Pile number three. Pile number three. Dealings with people. I keep hearing dealings with people specifically one person so maybe that's something that is on your mind right now and i keep hearing from spirit saying don't overly focus on that maybe your focus is focus should be somewhere else if that's been nagging you for a long time now don't get stuck in that cycle it's for a couple of you out there what is the unexpected pile number three we have the five of wands which is making sense what is the unexpected? Okay, I know what it means for some of you out there. Two more cards wanted to come out. Okay, we have the Eight of Wands as well as the Sun card. We need the fourth card. I feel like we need the fourth card. Um, hmm. This is actually gonna come out of nowhere. Okay, pile number three. What is unexpected? Well, the Empress is here. I think I might say to some of you out there, um, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case, if you want children that you got pregnant. Now for some others of you, uh, this is creative pregnancy, an idea of some sort. What I'm seeing with the Five of Wands here, you might discover that you do have very strong energy in your hands use your palms use these vessels i'm hearing for either healing abilities healing other people because you do have healing abilities or i don't know why i'm hearing spreading the message maybe something that requires you to put your hands on um, also acts as portraying the message for some of you out there. I don't know, I'm seeing hand movement, you're doing something with your, with your hands and that spreads the message. So I don't know what it means to you guys, but it's quite mysterious here. What is the unexpected? Your pile is very simple. I don't know how long this reading will take, but there is news coming your way that is gonna make you really, really happy. You will feel like you are in the right place and it's almost like you've been waiting for it for a while now whatever it is it's gonna take kind of take you off guard some of you this has to do with a trip of some sorts this has to do with a trip uh, maybe the way that you planned your trip maybe you've lost hope for some of you or some kind of travel plans some of you might not even be aware of it just yet but what's happening this is gonna come out of a blue and you will feel really grateful for opportunity or the decision that you made spontaneity coming through here i think you're gonna surprise yourself pile number yeah <laughs> pile number three look at this we have the Five of Swords. This Five of Swords reminds me every time I see it, a bit like a Fool card. Now, there is almost like a message for some of you here saying, what you might think that is gonna be the best for you right now might not be the thing that you will want in the future. 
So don't cling on to some kind of goal. Um, look around you right now and see what you need to do here and now instead of what you need to do a year from now. This has a close connection to home here, pile number three. So if you're looking to change or to improve your home environment, it's happening, but it, not, it might not happen, happen in the way that you have expected. So almost like be open to opportunities and surprises. There's some kind of a surprise coming through here. Now, for some of you, it's as simple as someone is going to throw you like a mysterious, you know, or yeah, a mysterious surprise party that you don't see happening just yet. Depends when you're watching this video if that's something that is allowed for you now or not. But I think even if it's not allowed, I think someone is breaking the rules here and they're like, listen, um, I need to surprise this person. Okay. Over, overall, a lot of warmth, a lot of fire, sun rays is coming through here. If you wanted to live your life that way, this is saying this is possible for you. Um, do not lose faith. For pile number three, I keep wanting to say do not lose faith. It's possible for you. If you feel like you're uncomfortable right now, the comfort is achievable as well as the abundance. The Empress, she doesn't live in a house that she doesn't like or in the country, in the place, right? With the people that she doesn't like. The Empress is like, listen, I can do whatever the hell I want to do. I know what's right for me. I know what kind of work to put in in order to get what I want. I'm there now. I've already done all of this and now I can almost like sit and enjoy the rewards of my work as well as my wisdom. See, I'm hearing for some of you, don't work hard, work smart. Maybe the approach that you have sometimes is not always beneficial. Maybe you put so much pressure on yourself and you're like, I have to be better at this. I have to do more. I have to this, I have to that. And sometimes a simple approach um, is better than a complicated one. That's what's coming through here for pile number three. We have the world coming through here. Definitely some kind of a travel plan that is going to take place. Uh, for some of you, you might sign up for either some kind of a retreat or trip, vacation. Overall, I'm seeing you flying. So whatever it means to you here, but it does seem like a physical journey rather than only mental that you're going to be really grateful for. And it's almost like it's going to set you free. Now, every time I talk about things that are, that are out there that I'm seeing for you that you can get, um, approach a reading in a way that that's something that is within your reach. Do what needs to be done in order to get there, right? Maybe push a little bit more um, towards that direction. It's not about sitting on a couch and wishing for good things. Almost like put in a bit more extra work, but don't make it overly complicated for yourself. I hope I'm making sense for pile number three. Unexpected, unexpected pile number three. I mean, come on, six of swords which is the hot air balloon here in this deck. Enjoy the ride. Pile number three, enjoy the ride. There's gonna be a journey that you are taking that you will feel ecstatic about. And uh, it might be maybe a spontaneous even decision for some of you. It's saying, listen to your gut. If you will feel very drawn to certain location, yeah, certain location, place, person even. Maybe someone is going to invite you somewhere and you will feel like, wow, you know, I really want to do this. It's been on my mind maybe for a while or my gut is saying, let's go, where my mind is saying, we have so many questions. Why this? Why that? Why that? Right? Listen to your gut. Listen to your gut. And I'm looking at the Empress's belly right now as I'm talking. The unexpected pile number three. Uh, for some of you, the unexpected. I'm splitting stories here, so please choose what sits with you the closest to your heart space, right? You're gonna have quite a busy lifestyle here. 
so if you're feeling right now that you're not doing enough in the future it seems like you're either taking on a couple of projects a job and a hobby two jobs or juggling your career as well as your personal life uh, it seems like you will choose paths that are both for you for that time that's gonna bring out your abilities almost like traits that you haven't seen before you are more capable of doing much more than maybe sometimes you give yourself credit for if you feel like i'm not i don't have enough time for extra it's saying you do but make sure you approach those both jobs or those two um i don't know even offers maybe for some of you there might be a couple of offers coming from coming through your way approach it from a simple mindset don't overcomplicate it we keep coming back to you part number three sometimes being too analytical um maybe you procrastinate a lot it's saying it doesn't have to be so difficult you don't have to make it so difficult for yourself you can have time for both but just know how to structure your day therefore you will be very productive and it won't feel like a lot of work six of cups is here it does seem like there's some kind of reunion happening for some of you and uh, i don't know why i'm picking it up to do with either career or talent of some sort bottom of the deck is the ace of pens something that you used to take interest in uh, before or you were familiar with is going to come back around I'm hearing for you to either continue or for you to have a different approach to what it is that you already know of so I'm gonna give you an example almost like someone who did start some kind of a project or idea and they left it for a while and it keeps resurfacing in their in their headspace again it's saying you can take this again reclaim it because uh, you've grown so much you're going to approach it differently you're gonna have more fun with it than you had before or the ideas that you're gonna add to this project are going to be really beneficial so your reading was quite quick pile number three I hope this made sense and tribe love you as always I'll catch you in the next one bye for now Hello pile number four people, whoever has chosen this stone right here. I have to tell you my neighbors are refurbishing um, in the flat next door. So it's gonna be fun because you'll be able to hear it in the background. And they started exactly at the time when I started recording. Pile number one, actually, the intro was fine. So let's see. Pile number Four, the unexpected tell me what is up we have the nine of wands I'm gonna show you all cards when I feel like I've finished pulling the nine of wands okay okay the queen of pentacles collectively pentacles are strong in this reading I think it's a lot to do with with projects career manifestation we have the page of wands uh, a lot of fire in this reading I'm seeing okay uh, uh, okay <laughs> another page page of swords um, there are a couple of messages coming your way and it seems like you're going to choose to stick with one message or to take one opportunity and to walk away from the other so is that unexpected for you I don't know bottom of the deck we have the three of wands so it seems like see three of wands as well as the nine of pentacles sorry nine of wands here um, it has very similar energy in this deck both people are looking way ahead they're looking towards the future so the way I'm picking up the nine of wands next to the queen of pentacles, this queen is um, usually has the bitch face on. The way that I'm seeing her in this deck, she's like, listen, look what I got. You can't take this or you can't, uh, 
<laughs> you can't taste this, right? Um, I do believe that pile number four, what you might, uh, might encounter as unexpected, you might reject someone. Would it be an offer? Someone is sending you a message. Someone is sending you a message. There is, there is information coming through your way. Uh, and you might be like, listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a look at what you have to offer. I'm looking at his um, face right here. I'm going to take a look at your offer. But do I want to take it? I don't know. Let me think about it. See all those calculations um, at the top of this person's head? At the top of a card, sorry. I don't know. I'm going to choose what is familiar to me. Something that I know of. Something that is close to my heart. Almost like there is some kind of rejection happening here. So, if we talked about people and connections, this would be you um, rejecting maybe a love offer or rejecting some kind of job maybe even offer or something to do with formalities. And for others, it seems like, yeah, but it's kind of similar. For others, it feels like, hey, I've been working on something for so long now, right? With the nine of wands, I put so much effort into it that now I don't need anyone's help. I don't need your help. Um, I can do much better than you can offer in whichever scenario. I can do much more. For some of you, Please take which story um, sits closer to your heart because I'm talking to many people here. For others, it does seem like something that you walked away from or someone that you know of walked away from, it's coming back. You're deciding to come back to something that you are familiar with. Does it make sense? I hope it's making sense. Let's see. Eight of Cups as well as the Six of Cups. Third card, please. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, this is some kind of a connection that you might be rejecting or you are deciding to be a bit more reserved. You're like, I don't want, I don't want quick. I don't want fire. I want grounded and I want stable. Whatever this is talking to you about. You're like, no. I'm trusting stability now. I'm trusting taking it easy, maybe being a little bit slower in my approach rather than quick, quick fiery promises. I don't know why this is coming from that way, but, but that's what I'm hearing. Yeah, because maybe that's something that is not the best for me, right? Quick fiery promises. This is not something that I, I want to do. Been there, done it. I know how it felt like. Now I'm a different person. It seems like you guys are going to surprise yourself. Your unexpected is you. <laughs> You're surprising yourself the way that you are approaching some kind of connection or offer. You're like, na 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 na, sayonara. Been there, done it. Uh, it feels like a pattern for me now. And uh, I'm not coming back to it. I'm sticking. I keep hearing. I'm sticking with what I know is right for me. And I'm standing my ground. Yeah. Because there's some kind of disappointment that has happened in the past. And you are like, listen, I'm worth much more than that. So the unexpected is very healthy, grounded self-worth and why it's um, unexpected for some of you maybe that's something that you don't think you'll be able to do now almost like if you are dealing with a person and you still have feelings for them and you know that they are not the best for you right now you might be thinking listen i don't know if i'm gonna be able to resist this or an offer or whatever the situation would be i don't know if i'll be able to resist this taken from current energies right i'm not strong enough still but what's happening, you're like, in the future, like, nah, I've grown. I've grown so much more than people might possibly see. Wow. Okay. Pile number four. The unexpected. 
Yeah, it does seem like you keep looking towards the future. You're like, I'm not coming back to the past. I'm not coming back to the past. I know what's close to my heart. I know what I value. And I'm not coming back to something that I used to do before. Or the person used to do. But I think it's a bit of both. It can be even a job, you know. Uh, that you're deciding not to, not to come back to certain job. Or certain career. Certain field. Because you're like, I've been there, done it. How much different can it be? Uh, maybe because you already have your eyes on something. There's a feeling of longing regardless. Longing something that you had before. Uh, but I think you're going to come out on top. Let's see, pile number four. Pile number four. Yeah, you're going to come out on top. Look at this world card. She's like, mm-hmm. Uh, a bit like this queen of uh, pentacles here, right? See how much grace and confidence we have in these two cards you are choosing to end a chapter or pattern that you maybe found difficult to do in the past yep completely changing the way that you wear and where you're going you're like it's it seems like pal number four you completely are demolishing the unhealthy situation pattern relationship job you're like nope this is something that hasn't been working out for x amount of time i kept recognizing it but maybe there was a time when I was weak uh, still or my will uh, to change things up wasn't as strong. Now I'm standing my ground and now I can actually almost like I'm, I'm seeing a restart button being pressed. I'm completely changing in some cases even your fate. I don't know why. This is a very strong statement. Please, not everyone. This is not for everyone, but it seems like someone wants to change their fate. And um, this can be up to discussion, but um, I must tell you what I'm hearing. So you know what this can be too for some of you? You break in the ancestral patterns. You're breaking the ancestral patterns, completely changing the game around. We have the Queen of Swords. You are, I'm hearing a black sheep. And maybe not everyone gets you, but you know exactly what to do and you know exactly where to, where to get help from or where to get advice from in order to cut it off. You're wondering what future has to, has to offer for you. I'd say for some of you, you might be even thinking of travel or relocation here with the world and the three of wands. And also your nine of wands is very similar looking at the imagery here, right? What is there? You know, I'm still working on what I have to do, but I feel like something is coming my way. Yes, you may have this feeling of longing for something or someone, but you don't know why. And this is saying that something that you can get. The feeling of longing or maybe even loneliness is not going to be uh, forever. But first, we need you to recognize what needs to be cut off in order to change your life around with the Wheel of Fortune. Big time, either kar karmic patterns are ending or cycles. You're wrapping up cycles, pile number four. So this was quite strong. I like this reading for you. I hope this is helpful and tribe. I love you as always. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.